This video is going to cover using Trotex Ruby. Um, Ruby is the software for preparing our laser cut files. Um, what we are going to do is do the year nine lamp head. So you can see there's already a lamp head in here. Um, this is the job. Um, so this is what directly cuts from the laser, whatever's in this, this window here. Um, I'm going to start from scratch. So firstly, I'm going to upload a file. Um, the student files that using the upload link will sit here. So this one's got my name on it because I uploaded it. And that's my lamp head. So I'm going to drag and drop that into Ruby. Um, like I said, the teacher is going to manage this um, at this stage, but it's worth knowing what the process is. So um, I've just dropped that into the design section here. And you can see it's exactly what I prepared on my DXF file earlier in the previous video. I'm going to delete this uh, design here. So um, it's sitting in my job at the moment, but I've also got this under design here. So I'm going to delete this uh, job and open it up in the design view. I'm not going to save this one. So in this um, design here, um, the black lines are engraved lines, and you can see that I can actually select separate each, each profile. If I move this, the middle one's going to stay in the position. So it kind of can break the design if you're not careful with what you do in this view. Um, black lines are engraved, like I just said, and red lines are, are cut lines for Ruby. So um, I'm going to press Control and A to select all and change it to a red cut line. Um, and all the paths, or which are the profiles or the lines, have turned red. Um, this is our line size. So I'm going to go to 0 0.1, which gives us like the finest line we possibly can for laser cutting. The other thing we will do here is fit to design up here. And I'm going to fit to design and I'm going to put a 2mm border. So just watch the border as I fit this design. And it now it doesn't sit right on the edge. That means we're going to capture everything we need to for the design. So if I read the, uh, the scale on the side here, I'm going to zoom right in. Um, the maximum size here is about 120 say six or seven here, um, that means it's going to fit on our material. So the material I'm going to load to the machine is actually 140 wide. But I need to make sure that um, our design sits on that. The maximum size this way, like if that I can batch everyone's uh, work onto is 800. That's our bed of our laser cutter. So I can actually get two students work side by side um, or maybe at least one and a half. So from this view here, um, I could select this profile and move it away a little bit if it's too close. Um, it would be tricky to do this one, so I'd have to do the inside and the outside. So I use the path tools here and control to select both, and then I can move it away a little bit. And then I can uh, fit to design again. So the border of the work um, is kind of uh, in the job size. So. Um, fit to design, two millimeters. Click OK. So I've messed with my messed around a little bit. Um, you can nest it as close as possible, or you can move them away a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is go create job. So it moves from a design to a job, and um, you can see it's a little bit kind of shaded there. So if I activate, um, deactivate my engrave, and activate my cut line. Oops. So this is cut line here. It'll go to a darker red, and then I've got my cut settings in here. So I'm using 75% power and 1.2% um, speed. It says here that um, we're using a Trotec material. Um, I'm going to look for pine, so and I'm going to allocate my pine. I want an 8 millimeter pine, so I'm going to use this one. And now the settings have changed. So the cut quality here is 100% power, and it's running slower, so it's almost half a percent, 0.4 of a percent speed. It is still pretty quick, but that's the speed we need to run to cut our eight millimeter pine. So my first job here, I can load up and my board for, um, or what the material I'm gonna cut out of is essentially gonna be 140 wide by um, 800 long. Whoops. So I could actually, I'm going to start again here, sorry. Um, so 140 by 800. So it's going to look about like that, and I could actually put some more pieces on here, so other students' files. That's why we want to um, have your files for the teacher to prepare. We're going to make the most of out, of, out of the material that we 
um, load into the machine. We could actually put another piece underneath it. So if I've got a duplicate of design, duplicate design, so um, if I look at this design here and I copy and paste it, we could do another set of um, lamp heads from another student in a second piece of material at the same time. The last thing I want to talk about in this video is um, it, the, we can set the laser cutter to skip overlapping lines. So um, if I click this one here and choose skip the f um, overlapping outlines or cut lines full, and then I snap these two lines together, just select the wrong line, here it is, snap it together. It will only cut this line once now, which is a pretty cool feature. It saves time and particularly if you have got a fairly square design, we could um, snap things together and it will only process uh, one of the lines rather than uh, cut twice. So make sure you upload your files using the link provided and um, we will start processing your files.